Welcome back awesome Actuary fans and subscribers. Today it is going to be a 112 scale Marvel Legends Eric Killmonger. Now I picked him up because he looks really cool and I thought he might work with my uh, G.I. Joe classified. I've got a lot, quite a lot of them. I'm only hoping actually the Red Ninja. Uh, the rest of all in a big cardboard box in my uh, bedroom. Um, picked him up. He looks really cool. Looking on the back shows others in the range. Black Panther, uh, Ulysses, Claw... Black Panther, T'Chaka, and Dora Malaji, Malaji, excuse my pronunciation, and the Builder figure itself, which is Mbaku. And I'm tempted to buy the Builder figure. I can pick him up here relatively cheap. He looks pretty cool, sort of fantasy-wise. But this guy's obviously contemporary. Looks pretty cool. Looks very military, obviously. So I'm looking forward to this. I think it'll work well with G.I. Joe Classified. Let me just... Uh, Get this open and have a look. Oh, that tape is still there. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. So he is out, nothing else in his box. He does look really nice, perhaps a tad too shiny on the plastic, nothing that a quick wash wouldn't fix, but he looks good. Let's get his uh, mask off, that's really nice, and again it's quite flexible, which I like on the mask. I wonder if that, that give any paint rub, you keep putting it on and off, I guess we'll find out over time. We have this... Umbaku head here, which you could put on him, I guess, but it won't match the skin tone on his hands. We have Eric Killmonger's pistol, but no, it's an indented barrel, but it's not drilled. Here's a assault rifle, which is way too bendy, but looks pretty cool. Umbaku's stuff. And then, Eric Killmonger figure itself. So let's have a look. Sculpting is good. The face is pretty accurate. His uh, belt obviously comes off because it's loose here. Just a uh, push stud. Well, not a push stud, a little hole and a little stud. That fits in. Um, I wish they didn't put a... Uh, gun in the holster because then he can't put his gun in there. I yeah, much, much prefer to have a uh, functional holster. A couple of tiny looking grenades on his little belt. I mean those are tiny, those little green grenades compared to his hands. That's like holding... that's really small. It's like... he could do that and then like his bottom two fingers. That's how small it is, these little two fingers here. Uh, so we've got a couple of those then ammo, 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 and a knife, which again can't take out. And he has the ammo to his legs and his legs as well. Uh, it looks all right. I might be tempted to just leave it off. Yeah, it looks better with it on, but I'll keep it off for the time being. He is a nice looking figure. And again, if we do change the hands, the skin, the hands, uh, the head to Umbaku's head, which would be nice, but the skin tone doesn't won't match on the hands, so you don't have to ink that perhaps or repaint them. Okay, uh, let's see how his mask fits. Just a friction fit, not very secure, but. It will do. Articulation. Looks left, right, has a small down and a pretty good up. Uh, there is tiny side to side. Shoulders all the way around, but has to go out a little bit because these shoulder pads, which are very stiff. To the side, shoulder pads do get in the way a little bit. Not that much, because he still get his hands, his arms over. 180 over flat 
He has double bicep bend, which means he have a good bicep curl, which is what you want, considering he's got a, a assault rifle, which you can hold with two hands. Pretty damn good. His right hand is wave articulation. His left hand is wave articulation. There's no gun articulation. And they do swivel around all the way. No paint rub on the actual... Uh, wrists the joints doing that it's got a nice little watch which is loose you can actually take that watch off if you wanted and put onto another figure uh trunk ab crunch pretty good backwards not much there is a waist turn hips not so far but it's good enough forwards is not great backwards is all right pretty good for backwards because most figures have terrible backwards Five twist both sides, double kneecap, really tighten out. That is fantastic. He has no boot twist. Oh, come on, Hasbro. A boot twist would have been so easy. This with the boot inserts in, you could have made that twist around. No boot twist. Uh, his feet do go outwards, like this, and the opposite inwards, like this. His tippy toe, considering he's wearing boots, is pretty damn amazing. Woohee! His dorsiflexation, not as good, but still acceptable. He is a nice figure. Let's see how he holds his guns. Let's do the easy one first the pistol. Holds that particularly well. Has to be said. Give a bit of a James Bond, Roger Moore pose. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Does hold that well. And the assault rifle, which is way too flimsy. Really good the way it fits in his hand. It's perfect with his finger and the trigger as well. Um, with his really good bicep bend. It's actually quite easy to get the uh, duh, the gun into a nice position for him to shoot. Not too far out to the side like some figures. He can bring it around because he can take his arms back. Pretty decent, I've got to say. Very, very nice. Okay, let's look at maybe an action pose. How easy is he to pose in the action pose? Let's do like a really or try it really tough one first. Not sure if we can do running. He hasn't got enough dorsiflexation. Oh, he has actually. There we go. Very quick and very easy. To get him in that sort of running pose. He can run and shoot. Fantastic. Take this one out again. And let's put his pistol back in and do one more pose with his pistol. Get the Dynamic again if I can. There we go. Not too tough on that one too. Though it is a more difficult pose, perhaps the balance because his legs in like a line like this is quite easy to fall forwards or backwards. Let's go for a bit more. Ha ha! With his hand in the air. Very easy to pose. He is a fantastic figure. He will work perfectly with your G.I. Joe classified or any sort of military universe or line you've got in the 112 scale. Particularly if it's uh, mostly by Marvel. Because some other 112 scales like the Fortnite 112 scales by Jazzwares are smaller than 
other 112 scales, but he is a nice figure. Glad I picked him up. It's taken me how many months to actually open him, uh, but he is really, really quite cool. Uh, I don't have any other contemporary figures to compare them to. The only thing I've got close by 112 scale is uh, I get another Marvel Legend, but it's the huge Sutu, the uh, demon from Four Ragnarok, and yeah. I think he's out. I think Eric Killmonger is out of his league a little bit here. <laughs> Great figure. I think it's definitely worth trying to find one. You could find two because, as I said, the heads should be interchangeable. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't match the the uh, neck color this neck flesh color of the hands but you could do that if you wanted to put Mbarka's head on instead good or good or figure definitely worth trying to pick on these up if you haven't gotten already okay this is awesome action toys i am signing out saying please like share and subscribe click on the notification icon so up to date with my latest videos reviews news bloody 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 blah stay happy keep collecting bye bye